Hey, what's up guys, David Johnson here. And today I wanted to talk about the MyOps Capsule 360. It's a really good time-lapse option. And as a landscape photographer, somebody who's always going around packing tons of gear into my bag. I didn't want anything that was going to be too heavy. I didn't want anything that was going to take up a lot of space. And that's why I really enjoyed using this because this is all you have. It's just a little sphere type thing that you put on top of your tripod, connect your camera to the top like a tripod mount would, and then you're good to go. You also have this cable that comes with it that accesses your camera that basically just acts as the middleman between the capsule 360 and your camera itself, kind of like a cable release. Now, since this is all I needed in my camera bag, I was more than happy to give it a whirl and try it out for some time-lapse photography and create those sequences that pan from left to right. So I really enjoyed uh, using the Capsule 360 and, and using it creatively because it comes with a lot of options when you do download the MyOps app along with it allows you to create different intervals between your shots. It allows you to select how long the time-lapse sequence you want it to be and it will automatically start and stop at that. If you even wanted to use this for video, you can set a start and stop point on the Capsule 360 and it will rotate to the start and stop point when you start recording. So I really enjoyed using this when I was out in the field. The one thing I was worried about with it was the battery life. You know, cameras now, especially a lot of the Sony cameras, have a really short battery life. And with time lapses, since they take so long and take so much power to shoot those, we're talking 400 to 500 shots per time lapse sequence, it can take up several batteries every single day to get a full day's work in. So I was concerned about the battery life of the Capsule 360, but then I was pleasantly surprised once I started using it that it does give you an indication within the app of how much power you have left on the device. And I was pleasantly surprised with how much battery life and how long it lasted throughout the day. Because when you are going out and really committing a full day to time-lapse photography, you're photographing up to 1,500, maybe 2,500 photos in a single day, and you want something that can take up the amount of time that you need for it when you are looking for those moving time-lapse sequences and creating those dynamic effects within your time-lapses. So I really enjoyed using this product and having it on my camera and giving me the ability to create movement in a time-lapse sequence without using a set of rails that can cost you know thousands of dollars and sliders that can cost thousands of dollars and not to mention built-in intervalometers and all those things the price can really add up so I was happy to get my hands on something like this that was just one purchase price that was much cheaper than a set of rails, a slider, intervalometer, and I was good to go from there. It allowed me to create some really, really dynamic, professional-looking time-lapse sequences.